Hey guys, I'm just here to film a really quick book haul. Um, sorry about my appearance. I was just at school for eight hours and I'm tired, but I just wanted to get this in and filmed for you guys really quick. I don't have that many books to show you because I filmed one pretty recently, but I'm trying to be better and stay on top of it so I don't have like 800 books to show you all at once. Um, so the first book I received, I believe I got this from Shelf Awareness. It's called The Unfinished Garden by Barbara Claypole White. I'm just going to read the back because I don't even really know what this is about. I know the blurb sounded good because otherwise I wouldn't have requested it, but um, okay. It says, James Neely needs to create a garden. James Neely is haunted. Okay, hold on. I feel like I have eyeliner in the corner of my eye. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, James Neely is haunted by irrational fears and inesca inescapable com compulsions. A successful software developer who's thrown himself into a new goal to finally conquer the noise in his mind. And he has a plan. He'll confront his darkest fears and build something beautiful. Beautiful, a garden. When he meets Tilly Sir Silverberg, he knows she holds the key, even if she doesn't think so. After her husband's death, gardening became Tilly's livelihood and her salvation. Her thriving North Carolina business and her young son Isaac are the re are the excuses she needs to hide from the world. So when oddly attractive, incredibly tenacious James arrives on her doorstep demanding she take him on as a client, her answer is a flat no. When a family emergency lures Tilly back to England, she's secretly glad. With Isaac in tow, she retreats to her childhood village, which has always stayed obligingly the same until now. Her best friend is keeping secrets, her mother is plotting, her first love is unexpectedly, temptingly available, and then James appears on her doorstep. Away from home, James and Tilly begin to forge an unlikely bond, tenacious tenuous, sorry, at first, but taking root every day. And as they work to build a garden together, something begins to blossom between them, despite all the reasons against it. Okay, I think um, James has OCD, and I think that's why it sounded really good to me. I don't know. I'm not into gardening or anything. This is an adult title, but I figured I'd give it a try. The next two I received for review from Simon, Simon and Schuster. I cannot talk today. I apologize. The first one is Burn for Burn by Jenny Han and Siobhan, Siobhan Vivian. Hi, Kate. <laughs> if you're watching this, that was you. Um, yeah, this comes out in September. I have Jenny Han, um, The Summer I Turned Pretty, the first book, and Siobhan Vivian, I have The List, which is actually in my TBR for this month, and Jenny Han's um, The Summer I Turned Pretty is in next month. So I haven't read anything from either of these authors but I do fully intend to in the next couple of months and this will probably be in my August if not next month's TBR um, but yeah there's that and then I also received level 2 by Lenore Applehans and this one sounds really really good this one doesn't come out till January 2013 so I'm probably not going to get to this anytime soon especially because Sorry, my dogs are being stupid. There's no one here and they're barking at nothing. Um, especially because I believe this is a debut, so it'll go towards next year's debut author's challenge. So I don't know. I might crack and read it earlier. I might save it. I, I don't know yet. Um, the next two books I won off Random Buzzers. Um, I got a copy of Jersey Angel by Beth Ann Bauman. This is the ARC edition. This book came out in May. Um, I wasn't like excited for this book really but um jen if you follow jen on youtube her username is reading with pugs um i can't i'm sorry i'm so all this video is awful i should probably refilm it but i probably won't because i'm tired and the oven just beeped and i really want to cook dinner <laughs> um but yeah she did not like this book at all and me and her are usually like even keeled except for Twilight on what we like to read so I don't know I mean it is really short it's just over just under 200 pages so I might maybe save this for like a readathon or something when I need something quick um, but we'll see and then I also want a finished copy of Lies Beneath by Anne Greenwood Brown which this one I've heard amazing things about everybody said aw awesome things about this one it's just like a plain plain blue cover nothing special but um yeah I was really excited that I won this one and the cover of this is so 
freaking pretty. I mean, I'm sure this isn't, you're not going to be able to see it. It has like a, there, you can kind of see it there. It's like shiny, like almost like metallic-y. I don't know, it's gorgeous though. Okay, and last but not least, I received a book from Quirk, also for a review, and it's called The Last Policeman, a novel. Okay, this is not really my kind of book at all. Um, it's like a detective type murder mystery book, but when I heard it was by Ben Winters, I had to, I had to approve this book for review. If you guys know, I read his book Bed Bugs last year, and it was in my top ten. I absolutely loved that book. It was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, so I pretty much said to Eric, who's my contact at Quark, that I would read anything from him. So, but it's pretty cool. It's, like, set up in different parts. And I'm actually really looking forward to reading this. Um, it's going to be different than anything else I've ever read. Um... Yeah, different than anything else I've ever read, but I'm still nonetheless really looking forward to it. And it actually says that Ben Winters is a New York Times bestselling author and Edgar Award nominee. So that is pretty freaking cool. And I just realized that this press release, okay, I thought it was like stapled into the book. It was just like stuck. Um... I'm trying to see if this came out already, and I'm not, I'm not quite sure if it came out yet, but I believe it did. Publication date, just kidding, July 10th of 2012. So it is coming out very soon. I believe this is a finished copy, though. Yeah, this is definitely already a finished copy. So look for my review soon. I, um... We'll probably have this in next month's TBR just because I don't think I'm going to get to it this month. But yeah. All right. I'm sorry again if you're still watching this video of how all over the place it is, my lack of pronunciation and being able to speak because clearly today I just can't. Um, but yeah. But that's it for me. Um, I don't really know. I've seen the In My Pants tag, which to be completely honest, I haven't even watched one video yet about what it is, but I really want to do it regardless. So, um, I don't know if anybody's tagged me, like I said, because I haven't watched any of my fellow booktubers videos on that, but if I am tagged and maybe if I am, if I'm not, I'm probably going to do it. So, um, stay tuned for that and I will talk to you guys all very soon. Bye.